Do you have friends who have lost money in the stock market before? Have you heard them complain, blame the economy, Trump, the Chinese? When that happens, do you feel left out? Well, feel ostracized no more. This here's a guide on how to lose money with your friends on the stock market quickly and consistently. Unlike most guides you find on gambling, investing and trading online, our tutorial guarantees you immediate results. After following these simple and easy steps, we promise you observable differences and drastic reductions in your personal wealth and sense of financial security. Getting set up. First and foremost, subscribe to Wall Street Bets, Atom Finance, and start a trading account with Robinhood. Wall Street Bets is a forum with semi-literate teenagers getting you to invest in the three stocks that they own, Amazon, Tesla, and Nvidia. Atom Finance is a free app with trading chats featuring fast food employees giving trading advice after having bought their first call option last week. The advice you find in both places are uninformed at best and self-serving malicious at worst, both of which are excellent for those who want to part with their money fast. Trading account wise, be sure to go with a zero commission broker, which engages in payment for order flow. By trading there, you can have high frequency trading platforms to immediately pick up the opposite side of your trade. You don't want to miss out on getting fleeced by a group of PhDs who are earning 10 times your annual income. Avoid platforms like interactive brokers, which give you direct monetary access with exchanges. Two, it's not like it's going to go under, right? Go for trading charts that look like L's, like the very real L's you crave. You disgusting masochist. Stocks that take an 80% earthbound swan dive are more than possible frauds and default candidates. They are also opportunities. Opportunities to kiss your paycheck goodbye. You can begin your curious experiment on how many times the stock price can halve itself today by investing and trading in bombed out penny stocks and nondescript Southeast Asian shell companies. Furthermore, if you have the credit score to do it, short, short things as frequently as you can. Nothing like standing in front of a moving freight train that is the US Federal Reserve and the 10 D frenzied Redditors to help you find the permanent loss of capital you so desire. Three, become the finance guy you see on TV. Have you seen Wolf of Wall Street, American Psycho? Incorporate drug-filled psychotic rituals into your everyday life and embrace that as your personal investment style. Do not read, not a financial report or headline news, nothing. Do you remember Gordon Gecko flipping through a book? Of course not. Reading, as most people will tell you, is for losers. Educated, profitable, losers. Instead, Charlie Sheen it up and allow your junkie brain take the driving seat on how you allocate your capital. Don't forget to constantly complain. Complain loudly. Things can't possibly be your fault if you slice that responsibility every chance you get. When you avoid the chance to reflect on past mistakes and shortcomings, you help yourself by staying the ever so true reverse indicator of when not to do what. Four, dealing with profit and losses. Finally, remember to take profit often and keep your losses going. Lock in your gains whenever you see fit. But cutting losses is essentially admitting you were wrong. And why encourage such unhealthy habits of self-harm when you are blaming everything on everyone else anyway? Long-term investments are just short-term trades that haven't worked out yet, aren't they? Mathematically, if you take a 40 to 50% loss on every wrong way trade and make 10 to 15% and intentionally, of course, on the ones you have right, even if you are right 75% of the time, which you won't be, you can still be certain that you will be staying in the red for the long term. That should cap off our surefire way of bleeding money into the stock markets. Please stay tuned for next week's episode on how to alienate loved ones and lose your kids in a lawsuit. Ciao! My face is so strained. I don't know if you can tell.